Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a kind of texture on your paper, in your journal, or even on a canvas. I received this wrapping paper in a package. It's, um, I would say that it looks a little like newspaper, but of course there is no ink on it. And also maybe it's less sturdy than newspaper. Newspaper can be sturdier than that. This one is very easy to tear. It's not sturdy at all. As you can see, there are a lot of creases and uh, crackles. And I wanted to try to glue that on my paper, on my journal, to see how it would react. Because every kind of paper reacts by a different way. So when you receive a package, if there is some paper in it, for example, some brown paper or any paper, as long as it's porous and not too shiny, I mean like if it's a paper like a magazine, then it's going to be more difficult to glue because sometimes when it's too glossy, it doesn't glue well. But if it's matte like that, keep these papers and try them because they react differently according to the quality of the paper and it's always interesting to see how they are going to react. So. I started gluing on my journal, as you can see. It's very interesting because you see it creates kind of crackles and uh, a little texture, not so much, but chiefly crackles. And I didn't quite finish, so I'm going to show you how to glue it, but you already know how to glue. I already showed in other videos how to glue, but still I'm going to do it again. So for the people who didn't see my other video, they will see how to glue. So a little water, some, I use some matte mod podge, but I would say any PVA glue, rather matte, it's better because if it's too shiny, sometimes it's difficult to work on the top of a shiny surface. Uh, you see that I put some wax paper behind, so it's not going to glue on the other page. You are not forced to do that, but it's easier. So, a bristle brush, a little glue with a little water, some pieces cut like that. You put some glue on the top, maybe with your finger you do this, and it glues. Of course, the paper is very, very porous, very thin. So it glues really very easily. You don't need a ton of glue to glue that. It's going to glue really easily. I was surprised how fast I did the whole two pages. It was incredible. I never glued so fast. So I really like this paper. I can guarantee you that you will find exactly the same because I didn't buy it. I received it in the package, so I have no idea where this paper comes from. But, you know, it's not the first time that I see this kind of wrapping paper. So there are big chances that eventually you will receive some like that. can even add here if I think it's not enough. And a little piece maybe here because I have a whole an area which doesn't have some here. And oops. And basically I have finished my page or maybe a little more here to be sure. You see how fragile it is. A little more glue and a little less water. It will glue better. Here it is. I finished the page. And then we are going to be able to continue. You see the pieces that I have more. I keep them in a small 
plastic bags so if i need more for another project i already have some small pieces okay like that and you will see it's going to dry really fast it's very hot in la today so of course if you live in a place where it's raining a lot it may take maybe one hour to dry but if you live in a place where it's really hot like in LA I would say like in 15 minutes it's dry of course it doesn't mean that it's dry deep down it's dry on the surface at least so here I did the same on this side of the journal and as you can see there is some color here because what I wanted was to glue all this paper and then accentuate the crackles to really create a surface like if it was very old so i made the patina and that is something you can use for example to make something look older i made some patina with some raw sienna oil paint and some turpentine turpentine or mineral spirit it works too but i had some turpentine so i used some turpentine you mix both so more you put turpentine more it's going to be transparent more you put paint more it's going to be opaque so you have to find the right mix but you can also make the thing look older with a darker brown like for example burnt amber oil paint also uh, these kind of things exist exist i don't know if uh, it's a patina black uh, i rarely use some black patina because I, it doesn't seem to me very natural but if you like it why not you can also play with some gold oil paint of course then it doesn't look old it's going to look gold and <laughs> not old but it, it can be really nice also especially for christmas so here is my patina oops a mix of turpentine and paint so what i do so i put like that with a brush so it goes deep in the crackles let's see if yeah i must put some paper otherwise the turpentine can go on the other page and that's not what i want and then with the rag uh, an old rag do this so you can add more if you want if it's not enough or you can let it like that that it was not dark enough so I added some burnt amber and we will see how it is wow that is really really dark when you work on a piece of furniture for example or on a paint which has crackles you can use this patina to put in the crackles so you see if you remove the excess quickly it's not so bad and it's exactly what i wanted actually so let's continue like that you must do it by small areas because if you let it dry then it's difficult to remove the excess perfect that's perfect you 
can also make it older with some coffee or a stain or some tea but the coffee as the tea must be very concentrated otherwise you don't see much oh that's perfect that's exactly what i wanted you see how old it looks and it looks almost like a, an old manuscript maybe a, an old leather I, I don't know but i really like it and i will continue here but i won't go in the wet area because it's not dry so i didn't go in between the rings because well i didn't think it was so terrible so but if you want it to not look straight like that with the patina we don't really see the difference you know so it's not a big deal yes if you really want it to look perfect everywhere you can continue your uh, gluing your paper between the ring but well it's uh, i think it's a lot of work for not much oh and that's interesting how it's staining the paper underneath try not to stain my nail polish <laughs> i don't think it was a good idea to put some nail polish just before doing that but so you see how it accentuates some flows in the paper it goes where the crackles are paper is not perfectly glued here it's not a big deal you can or let it like that or add a little glue I know that it's an oily product but it's going to sink in the paper so once dry you will be able to work on the top even if you work with some water-based uh, products because it's not going to stay on the surface it's going to really sink in the paper that's why I recommend to do that on some matte paper porous paper it's sure that if the if the surface was shiny and the oil staying on the surface, then you would have a problem to continue working with water-based product for sure. Okay, I'm not going to continue here because it's not dry and the aim is it to dry. You see, it already started drying here. It's going to dry really fast. I will probably finish that today. Here is how you manage to get a very textured, old, vintage look surface. And then on the top of that, you do whatever you want. You can continue your collage or paint on it or draw on it. Okay, I will stop here. I hope that this will be useful to you. This way of doing is the typical patina that we use in home decor to make the things look older so even if you don't use it in here in a journal or on a paper or even on a painting on a canvas you can use it in your home decor things like some painted furniture or anything which is painted if you want to make it look old you can use a crackle varnish and then put this kind of patina on the top does it need a varnish then if you work on furniture well i would say it depends what kind of furniture if it's something that you use a lot yes i would recommend that you then on the top varnish your piece of furniture not too shiny because it's going to defeat the purpose of making the thing old but you can for example varnish it with a satin or matte varnish or even you can use some wax, some, some wax, uh, some clear wax. 
it's going to be nice and it will look even older. You can't glue or paint anything above wax. So wax is really the last, last, last step. Anyway, I'm not going to use some wax on the paper. I don't think so. Here it's different. It's funny because you see the crackle, we don't see them here, but once dry, the crackles appear. That's quite interesting. So this paper, if you come across it, think of keeping it very good. Also, brown paper, even if it's very thin, keep them. Sometimes they give very good results like this one. Okay, thank you for watching and I see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>